All right, we're back. Yes. She's gone. I'm parting her out. I'm gonna part this joint out. I'm sick of this car. I blew up the motor. She gone. Threw the turbo kit back here. So yeah. It's like now, right now I'm gonna prep this whole car to get painted. I'm gonna take off the headlights. I'm gonna pop off the hood. Take off the doors, cause I'm gonna do the door jams. Uh, I'm gonna take off the rear tail lights. Uh, might take off the trunk. I don't know yet. So yeah, I'm gonna set you guys up and take this thing apart. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, it's pretty much the next day. Uh, I sprayed this whole engine bay with uh, this rattle can I had, it was primer. So I sprayed the whole thing all the way around. I just pulled the lines back and then I'm just gonna respray the whole booster because it was the same color as the chassis. So I don't feel like pulling it out or taping it up and all that. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. And um, yeah, I sanded it, sculpted it up and I primered it. So I bought me some undercoating. Always use this to undercoat sometimes the engine bay or even the uh, under the wheel welds, but I'm not gonna do under the wheel welds. And I got this red, this gloss red for the engine bay. And because the paint that I have is enough to respray the whole car, but not enough to spray the engine bay. So I'm gonna pretty much like spray the undercoating in the engine bay. So it's gonna be nice and thick because as you can see, there's like a bunch of little cracks and stuff and I'm not gonna fix all that, I'm too lazy. So I'm gonna fill it in, make it nice and thick so it can be nice and smooth. Let me spray it all the way around, up here in the bottom. And yeah, if I have enough undercoating, I'll just use that and spray under here. And uh, I have my little cousin Yayo already started sanding it, but he only literally just did this half. I still gotta do the rest all the way around. And I got the rear bumper for this car. So right now, what I'm gonna do is mask it up and then spray it. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna let her dry up. I'm gonna start spraying the red rattle can. Hopefully I got enough, because I already ran out of one of the big cans for the undercoat, and that's the empty one, and this, is, this one already has half. But, I mean, I do have two more red cans like these at my house, so if I, don't, if I run out, I'll just run, run back to the house, come back uh, another time, and just finish spraying it off, so. I'm going to spray it right now. There we go. Hopefully, it doesn't look orange because, I mean, it looks kind of orange. 
but it's not supposed to be long. It's supposed to be red. Uh, where I put it? Let's see, look. It's hard to tell, but the tap is like dark red, but in video it looks orange. Hopefully it don't look like orange when it's outside, but yeah, here's what she turned out. Turned out really good. I was able to see a lot of the cracks and make it nice and smooth. So the engine bay looks so much better now. It doesn't look like that shitty ass, weird ass, black, purple thing in here. So at least finally now it's one color. And then um, I gotta go right now because I gotta take care of my girl, but next clip, um, either this whole thing's gonna be sanded or in pieces or I'm gonna be sanding it, so. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I get back to it. Here she is, people. Painted engine bay. Looks way better than that gay ass, I don't know, stupid ass flakes that I had. But she's not perfect, I know, but it looks way better than how it was before. So now, uh, it's already pretty much been a couple of days. Um, I had my little cousin Yayo, like I just wanted to see how it looked. I had my little cousin sand the fender and the door and I told him to leave it like that because I want to see how it was. And honestly, he was using 320, which is a thick uh, grid sandpaper. And I told him to use a thousand grid also. Where is it? See like this 320 right here? It's 320. Wasn't well, that thick? This one's thick. It's like, you can kind of see right there. This is 80 degree. But this one's more smoother than that one. And where is the sand pan? Water sand paper. Uh, well, anyways, I told him to use the 320 and then to go back over with one, uh, thir um, 13, I mean, blah, 1,000 grit. Which is this right here. And uh, ended up turning out, smoothing out really nice. So, what I'm going to be doing next uh well i'm gonna be taking out the two doors i'm gonna of course take the roof off and i'm gonna be taking the trunk off so i can get up in here in the door jams clean them up um see how terrible that looks take out the door panels uh, i gotta take this trim piece off sand up in here spray it mask it up i finally brought the bumper that i had over there at my house i just been forgetting to bring it so but yeah, and of course, take out that door too. So I'm gonna put all this stuff right here. All right, got them off, both sides. What I'm gonna do is take off the door panels on both of them, leave it inside the car. But I don't feel like showing you guys the work, so. Sweet, got them all off. Uh. Let's see. Probably start pretty much sanding this whole thing all the way around. So I'm gonna guys, I'm gonna set you guys up, and I'm gonna just start sanding this whole thing all the way around. people i pretty much sanded the whole thing i just didn't sand the roof i got the bumper right here i'm about to take the trunk off because i completely forgot that i want to spray inside the door jams so i'm gonna take this trunk off here i actually want to show you guys something real quick 
So let me pop this trunk off. Since this is not even the OEM hood, um, I'm not really too worried about spraying down here because you can see it's gray, but it has a vent on it, like it's an OEM trunk, so yeah. But I'm gonna spray down here all black. It's not gonna be red, but of course all up in here is gonna be red as well as the vehicle, as the car, I'm trying to sound like a professional. But anyways, I'm gonna take off the tail lights also. So I get this thing prepped, because uh, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about painting this thing today. Uh, I have enough materials to do that. So I don't know, I'll think about it. But I had this thing prepped and I still gotta sand this because I'm gonna kinda do a crazy design uh, with the doors and the trunk. That's why I don't care about the trunk being black and the doors also. So I'm about to see how uh, it turns out. And if I like it, I'll just paint, uh, if I like it, I'll leave it. If I don't like it, I'll just paint match the whole thing together. But you're gonna see what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna throw these headlights on. So when, actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. Those, those are actually brand new. Cause I was about to say, I'm gonna re-clear them, but they're actually, they're actually fine. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna take that trunk off, throw it over there and uh, we'll see what I decide after that. All right guys, so I put off the trunk. We got the bubble right there. Pretty much got all this back here prepped. I gotta just blow this stuff off. And honestly, I'm thinking about, let me drop my phone. I'm thinking about possibly spraying it today. It's only one o'clock, I just checked. And um, I mean, I don't even really need to do no body work on it, except for the door, because I put a dent on it by accident while taking off this passenger door, but that's nothing. And um, those doors are not getting painted. They're gonna be painted in some different other material. But um, also this uh, trunk, I'm gonna be putting mainly all paint on the top part. I'm not gonna put a lot of paint down here because what I'm going to be doing is there's actually a body line right here in the trunk. I know you guys can see it. Right across, right? So I'm gonna put the body line right here, cut it and put a piece of tape, tape down. Or I'm just gonna leave it like that and just re-sand this part because I'm gonna be spraying this black. I don't know if I'm gonna spray a gloss black or matte black. I've already taken out the lights for the, for the tag. Um, I just want to change it up. I want to see how it looks. I'm gonna. Pre I'm pretty much doing that same thing to those doors. And um, I have my custom gutter side skirts that I'm gonna be making, looking like some of, like that, like those nice uh, metal drag style side skirts. And I got a front lip for this car, but I'm gonna paint match that front lip. I just have it at my house because I forgot it, and I'm an idiot for that. But anyways, I'm gonna paint match that. Um, so I'm gonna paint match the side skirt that I'm gonna get. Uh, the door is going to be the same color side skirts and then this half bottom side of the trunk is going to be the same color and the roof uh, I was thinking about matching it but I think I'm just going to leave it I'm just going to leave it and paint match it and the front um, and the hood I'm probably going to end up painting it and matching it to the car So, because I want to make this thing look like a nice little cool turbo street car so people will be like oh snap you know what i mean so so yeah i want to try something new and different um i've never really seen anybody do how i'm gonna do it except for like people having like carbon carbon panels and all that but they're not carbon panels so yeah um i'm just gonna run to the store real quick and go pick up some more materials since it's only 10 minutes away and um i pretty much already scuffed the whole thing I'll, before i leave i'm just gonna do a quick wipe around and um yeah i'm just gonna probably possibly spray it today i'm gonna mask it up and possibly spray it today or yeah let's leave it at that but all right i'll be back